Hi guys, it's Yolanda here and welcome back to my channel. So I recently got this like I think a week or two ago already and I haven't gotten to play with it. It's been in the box. But I got the 39A Dare to Create palette. Looks like this. Let me show it to you. Bam. So big. So I've been wanting to do a video on this palette, right? I plan on doing three looks, one palette video for this palette. So I do plan on doing that video, but for just for today, I'm just gonna do a super like neutral eye look because I feel like when I do the three looks, one palette, they're all gonna be super glam. So there's gonna be one that's mildly neutral. So I figured I'll do a video right now of a more neutral look using the palette. So yeah, so let's just jump right into the video. Okay guys, so I do have this shirt on, but I realized that when I zoom you guys in, I'm gonna look naked. I'm not naked, I swear I'm wearing a shirt. So I did my brows off camera. I'm just going to prime my eyelids, so I'm just gonna use concealer. Today I'm using the NYX HD concealer. Now I'm just smoothing that out with the brush and then I'm gonna go in with Beauty Blender. I washed my Beauty Blenders by the way. I washed and sanitized them or sterilized, whatever the word is. This palette doesn't have a shade that's close to my skin tone. That's what I normally do to set my eyes. So I am going to just go in with some powder. I'm just going to use this e.l.f. finishing powder to set my concealer. You can use setting powder you can use any um, shade close to your skin tone I usually use an eyeshadow shade first I'm going to go in with the shade there it's right here put that all over my eyelid then I'm going to be taking the shade right here it's called define me I'm gonna put that in my crease with a blending brush. Then I'm gonna take another brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Sculpt. And I'm going to start transitioning to doing in a halo eye effect. So I'm going to put that in the crease. In the crease. And then putting it in the inner and outer portions of my eye. I'm leaving the center open, but it doesn't matter if you get product there because um, we're going to be cleaning it up with concealer later to do that like spotlight halo effect. Now I'm going to go back in with that shade we used before. This one right here called Define Me. I'm going to go back in with the brush we used before as well and blend those shades together in the crease and make sure they're super blended. I want it to blend seamlessly. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here called Vibrant. I'm going to put that in my crease and on the halo a little bit more to darken it up. 
I'm gonna take more of like a smaller packing brush. I'm gonna keep this closer to the lower portion of the crease because this was a lot more red toned than I expected. like super purpley and I'm gonna go back in with that shade we used before called sculpt and get some of that color back in and then blend out with the define me shade so there's no harsh lines Next, to darken it up, I'm going to be taking the shade right here called Frame. I'm going to blend it out with a mixture of Define and Evolve. A light mixture. I'm going to just take a clean blending brush with nothing on it and blend the edges so everything looks more seamless. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the lid with concealer. I'm going to make this eye look like, like this eye. Don't worry if you get it anywhere where you didn't mean to because we're going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to put a little bit of the dark shade Fame in the inner and outer portion of the halo eye <clears throat> to blend that line a little bit already. I'm doing a lot more packing than I am swiping because I don't want to get like too messy over here. So I'm going to blend that outer corner because it's probably looking a little patchy. Okay, then I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to take the shade Artistic right here. And I'm going to pack that on. Now I'm gonna leave like a tiny, tiny little space at the top, like that top line, just a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm gonna put in another shade right there. So I'm just going up all the way to right here, as you can see. I'm leaving a little bit. Now I'm gonna take art more of artistic, but this time I'm gonna spray it with some spray. So you can use setting spray. I'm gonna use my Pixie Glow Mist just to get it a little bit more pigmented and then I'm going to go in with a tiny bit more and pack that on. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit more of a small, more precise brush and I'm going to jump into the shade So Glam right here. I'm going to take that precision brush and jump into that and I'm going to lightly pack this on to where that line is. Then I'm going to 
get some more and I'm gonna pack this onto the center part of that halo eye, just the center of the lid. Then I'm going to take that same shade again and I'm going to just blend the inner and outer portion so that they're, it's not such a precise line. I'm going to take that define me shade and I'm going to blend a little bit. Now I'm just going to do a quick wing of eyeliner off camera and then I'll be back to do um, the lower lash line. So all I did off camera was put um, mascara and eyelashes on. I'm going to do my face really quickly. I'm just going to go through the product super quick and go like run through my face so that way we don't have to waste time. This is mostly just a tutorial for my eyes. I'm going in with the Urban Defense Complexion Primer. I'm going to be going outside right now. so. My SPF. Then I'm going to go over top with a little bit of the illuminating, the Estee Lauder illuminating radiance one. Just on my cheeks. I'm going to avoid my T zone. For foundation today, I'm going to take the Too Faced Born this way. This is in the shade Light Beige. I know I usually use a brush, but today I'm going to use a Beauty Blender. This is looking a little white. So I'm going to mix in a tiny bit of my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. That's more on the darker side. So let's see how that looks. I'm going in with my Becca and my NYX concealer. I'm going to set my under eyes with air spun powder. And everywhere that I put concealer. I set the rest of my face using my e.l.f. finishing powder. I'm going to go in with a little bit of my bronzer from Wet n Wild to give me a little bit of the dewiness. This is in Reserve Your Cabana if you guys were wondering. I'm going to bronze up my skin with the ColourPop Afternoon Delight. This is a new brush that I got and I'm like in love with it. I'm gonna take some blush. I'm gonna take the Rose Champagne blush from Wet n Wild. For highlight today, I'm gonna take a mixture of two. I'm gonna go in with the Master Chrome because I want that like golden vibe. Then on top of that, I'm going to go in with my Pure Cosmetics one. Just on the high points. Normally I would put a brown eyeliner, but today I'm going to take a black one. This is the Tarte Sex Kitten one. i put that in my waterline. I'm 
going to take this shade right here, Stroke, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. So I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that darker shade frame and I'm going to use like a line kind of like a straight flat brush like that and I'm going to put that super close to my lash line. Then I'm going to use I'm going to use a little bit of this shade of ball with Define Me and I'm going to run those under my lash line. Then I'm going to blend that out with a clean blending brush. Now I'm going to put mascara on my lower lashes. Now you can definitely stop here and the eye look could be done but um, there's not a shade in that palette that I would use on my inner corner so I'm going to jump into the Golden State of Mind palette and I'm going to pop this shade right here in the inner corner of my eye. Okay guys and then I just paired it with this Huda Beauty lip in Bombshell and that's pretty much the finished so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do, like I said, plan on doing a three looks, one palette with the Morphe 39A, the Dare to Create palette. I do plan on doing that. Um, I just wanted to do a more neutral eye look. This did turn out more glam, but I mean, you could still do this eye look a lot less darker and you could do it with just mascara. You don't have to throw eyelashes on, but I really felt like the look needed eyelashes so that's why I threw them on. The eyelashes that I used were the Sephora Collection Lily Lashes in Paris. These are like my favorite lashes right now. I just hadn't had eyelash glue so I finally got some and I love these lashes because I can wear them with my, eye, with my glasses and I have to wear my glasses like all the time now. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my previous video down below. Hit the subscribe button if it is your first time to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.